Hello, Mario. Land Survey 1. EDM Metrological Corrections. Question 7. 2015 Semester 1. Hello. Well, this is another question that some students have asked me about as part of their study towards the 2015 exam. I'm very pleased, of course, that they've asked me uh, this question as this is exactly the type of interaction that I'm wanting. I need feedback and correction so that I can uh, identify, uh, you know, where learning will occur. And uh, this is a very good example of that. So I'm ever thankful to the uh, students who have asked me about this particular question. So uh, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Um, and uh, let's first of all get the question uh, in place uh, here. So as I've done in a previous video, um, I'm going to put up here first of all the, uh, the question in its blank form and then uh, we're going to uh, have a look. Um, I've also uh, probably still got my little calculator up and it fits nicely there right in the middle between the two on my uh, big screen. So um, let's, uh, let's get the full benefit of the big screen um, by bringing that across. And here we go. So let's have a look at the question. Uh, probably a good idea to read through the question first just to see what it is. The table below shows the slope distance and its zenith angle observed with a Leichhardt TPS 1201 total station. Unfortunately, incorrect atmospheric data settings were used when undertaking the measurements. So the incorrect uh, atmospheric data sessions were a pressure of a thousand and a temperature of five degrees. Jeez, <laughs> a bit bloody cold, wouldn't it? Um, when in fact... Um, <laughs> The pressure was a thousand millibars and a and thirty degrees. Well, it'd be quite significantly different there. Yes. So the slope distance measured was two three three two point one five nine, and the zenith angle eighty seven thirty two forty six. So that's measured from the zenith. Um, so that's a rising. That's rising. Remember, ninety degrees would be horizontal. So that's the uh, data that we've got there. All the information. With the aid of the metrological correction nonogram, whew, that's a mouthful, below on page 10, calculate the correct slope distance. So that's question A. Question B, reduce the correct slope distance in A to a horizontal distance. So this is um, this question depends, the answer in uh, B depends on the question in A. So you just need to um, make sure that you get it right in A because it could have implications down further down the track. Um, and here is the so-called nonogram. And uh, it has up here, it has degrees C, degrees C up here, and then a, uh, this way, and then across here is the uh, millibars millibars so we've got a thousand seven fifty oh a thousand that's in here and then up here on the angle is the correction uh is the correction in atmospheric corrections in ppm parts per million with temperature and pressure and height at 60 percent relative humidity so um, we've got, we can use both pressure, this is pressure across here in millibars, and this is height above sea level uh, here. So, um, yeah, that's uh, how that all works. So, first of all, right, so let's um, possibly, uh, let's, ha we've got that there, I might just put that up there, it might be quite helpful, and we'll just click on our little calculator here. So, first of all, looking at uh, here, um, what, how are we answering, oh yes, um, right, so um, what we can see there is that um, the pressure is a thousand, temperature of five is incorrect, so the pressure there is true, so the um, incorrect um, parts per million, so we need to Oh, no, we, we need to uh, look that up on the nonogram. So if we go down here to the nonogram, you can see that um, at 
a temperature of uh, a temperature of there's our thousand up there, and this is um, that's the thousand there. And what's that one there? That's twenty degrees and forty-five. What have I got there? Five degrees C. The temperature was five degrees C. Um, okay. Uh, obviously, this I think this little line here has got moved somehow. Um, so there's the thirty degree line. Oh, that's the. Oh, this is the. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's the uh, five degree. This is the five degree line here, coming through here. So there's the five degree line there, and there's uh, and that's where it hits the thousand there. And so if we draw a line parallel to these, we can see that that's going to give us a correction of minus four. So that's what's going on there. So we've we've got the thousand up there, and then the twenty degrees C there, and that hits here at minus four. So straight away we can see that the incorrect parts per million was minus four. And it should have been, and this is where we go here. So this is, again, this is our 1,030. And we can see that that intersects there. So we draw a line across there. And that gives us a um, correction of 21, I think it is. Uh, 21 parts per million. So just the incorrect one was minus 4. The true one was 21. So... The error was negative minus, uh, the error was minus 25 parts per million. We were, we had take, we were too low. So the correction, we have to add 25 parts per million. So 25 parts per million. And um, there's the uh, slope distance. So um, we should have added 25 parts per million, but there's our uh, slope distance right in there like that. So let's just read this question again here. Uh, incorrect atmospheric data was used. So uh, the slope distance there was 2332159. And we need to add, because it's got minus 4, so we need to add 25 parts per million. Now 25 parts per million is uh, one millimeter per kilometer. So that is 2.332159 kilometers times 25 equals, and that's 58 millimeters, 58 millimeters which is 0.058, all right? So 25 parts per million uh, is, um, you know, 25 millimeters per kilometer. So that's 0.058. So then we get 2332.159 plus point. 058 equals 2332.217 and that gives us the true slope distance that's what the correct slope distance is so that's all uh, all well and good there okay the true slope distance 2332.217 and now in part b of course we need our um need our uh, little calculator here so um, yeah we put our little calculator in there and um, what have you there and no I'm not I'm gonna not going to uh, have that uh, like that I thought that might be helpful just to have me there um, like so um, that's my cat that just jumped up on the desk there. <laughs> and uh, 
did a little twerk for the camera. <laughs> um, right, so now um, we are going to calculate the slope distance. So um, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the cosine of the uh, zenith angle. So um, let's um, just make sure that we're in degree mode. Um, no, so let's go mode. Uh, oh, shift mode. Uh, oh, shift mode. And uh, we'll go into three, which is um, degree mode. So hopefully we're in degree mode. Okay, so let's go uh, cosine 87. Um, degrees, 32 minutes, 46 seconds, close the brackets, times 2332.217 equals, and it's not cosine. It gives us 99. That's the difference in height. Okay, so clearly it must be sine. And so we can go back to here, hopefully. So um, that's a, yeah, so I'll just go delete. Um, oh, just push uh, sine. Okay, equals. 2330.078. 2330.078. Did you see that? I thought it was the cosine, but I knew that the answer would be just a small difference there because it's a long slope. Okay? So I put in the cosine and I got 99. Well, that can't be the distance, that can't be the horizontal distance. Um, that must be the difference in height. So it mustn't be the cosine, it must be the sine. So sometimes it's we need to have an expectation of the answer and that'll give us an idea. So it's a sine of the zenith angle uh, times the slope distance will give us the horizontal distance. So there you are, there's that uh, question there. Um, pretty well done. Uh, just to recap um, on that one, um, Let's get the little thing there. Just to recap on that one, incorrect. So we look up the nonogram. Remember, so we need to know how to use the nonogram. Uh, and that'll give us what the correct atmospheric corrections are. Now the incorrect one was 4, using this data. And the correct one, 21, using this data. So the difference is uh, we were 25 mils too low. So we're at 25 parts per million too low. So we needed to add the 25 parts per million. Now parts per million, of course, um, is um, millimetres per kilometre, is how I do it. So I converted the distance to kilometres, multiplied by 25, and that gave me 58 millimetres, or 0.058 metres, which I then added, um, yes, added uh, to the um, slope distance. Uh, yep, 2332. 0.159 added to the slope distance to give me the true slope distance. I then took the true slope distance and I thought that I should have multiplied it by the cosine, but that gave me a ridiculous answer that was obviously the difference in height. So no, I went back and changed it to the sine, which gave me the what I believe to be a, a, the true horizontal distance. That made a lot of sense, and so that's the one I wrote down. 2330.078. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we there we go. Um, that's uh, another question done. Thanks to those that put forward that question uh, for review. Um, it's gone pretty good, and um, we worked out um, quite a f uh, few interesting little strategies that we can use there to uh, make sure we get those ones done. So thank you. Cheers. See you.